Hi, my name is Noah Richardson, and the topic I chose for my semester project is the New and Ever Everlasting Covenant. Um, I chose two scholarly, um, for my two scholarly sources, I chose uh, both for uh, BYU speeches. The first is by Stephen Jones. It was titled An Everlasting Covenant, Order in All Things. Um, in this speech that uh, Brother Jones gave, he explains how covenants are God's um, the way that God allows us to take steps closer and closer to him as we make more promises and honor those promises that we, um, th those are, are the small steps that we take to uh, eternal life and living with him again and um, uh, becoming gods ourselves. Uh, the second uh, BYU speech I chose was by uh, Bernard Brockbank. Um, in his speech, he, it's a little, I, I, I like it, I, I feel like we don't talk about it a whole lot in the church, but he explains that um, or as much as we should, I should, I should say, that uh, when we make covenants, especially uh, the covenant of marriage, of eternal marriage, it's not just between us and our spouse, um, uh, but it is between um, us, our spouses, and, and Heavenly Father, and that as we put Heavenly Father first, we will be blessed in all things. And I think that that might be, that, that could be hard to uh, either understand or, or apply um, just the fact that uh, the spouse that you are eternally married to it should, is not what comes first in your marriage, uh, but God is. And I think that's a very um, important thing that we know and apply uh, to have successful marriages and um, eternal life. Um, what else? So for uh, my two prophetic sources, um, I chose uh, one was a general conference talk by um, Dan Elder Russell and Nelson. He, uh, he, it's a good talk. Um, the quote I chose was, the noblest yearning of the human heart is for a marriage that can endure beyond death. Fidelity to a temple marriage does that. It allows families to be together forever. He explains how to have love and always, um, to, to, to always love your spouse and always make them feel aware of that love and that that is something that, um, essential not not just in marriage but in every covenant that we make with heavenly father that love is very essential um uh, the other one i chose was by elder uh, marcus b nash it was from the enzyme um he he explains that um so, something that a couple of my other sources do that uh whether uh marriage depending on whether always when it is approved by god whether it be monogamous or poly uh not monogamous polygamous um, that it is, we, we, we all receive the same blessings no matter what, um, as long as it is blessed by God's uh, approval. Um, as for my, um, the quotation, sorry, uh, the, my DNC quotes. Uh, the first one is from Do uh, Dr. Covenant section 131. Um, it explains that we can only attain the highest degree of glory through um, the the new and everlasting covenant, which is not just marriage, but it begins with baptism. And um, another quote I have explains that as well. But it ends with the the, the final covenant we make in this life is um, marriage. And without those two, th um, without making these covenants, without that final um, eternal marriage covenant that we make, uh, we cannot obtain that highest degree of glory. The second um, section I chose was Doctrine and Covenants, the following one, uh, 132. Um, and it, it reiterates the same thing that uh, Brother Nash uh, spoke of, that whether it is um, you have uh, one spouse or multiple spouses, uh, or one wife or multiple wives, um, as long as it is uh, ordained of God, one, um, you don't need multiple wives to get all the glory um, that eternal life offers, um, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to and it is ordained of God. Um, <clears throat> anyone can obtain um, the full blessings of eternal life. Um, and uh, from the Just Smith website, I chose, uh, it was a little, let me see, I'll just read it. It, it was talking about how the uh, early members of the church were criticized for polygamy. Uh, it reads, uh, one of the focal points of Bennett's attacks was the spiritual life system, a misrepresentation of the secretly practiced plural major plural marriages of Joseph Smith and other church leaders. The term Gadianton bans borrowed from the Book of Mormon was used by church leaders when speaking about the growing problems of theft in the area. And this kind of reiterates the common misconception that there is that um, polygamy is bad. Um, it, it may not be currently legal, but uh, 
through various, uh, for various reasons and through various times in, in, in the church's history and in ancient times as well, God has permitted it. And um, only when he permits it is it okay, but it is uh, permissible in the uh, new and everlasting covenant, very circumstantially. Um, the two concepts I chose were uh, marriage, um, like I've talked through, uh, just listing off of all these sources, that marriage is not the, the new and everlasting covenant in this entirety. It begins with baptism and it uh, includes all these saving ordinances that we participate in this life. Um, the second one I want, I want to uh, mention is that, um, I thought it was interesting, or, the, the, an ordinance is the formal act. Uh, it's kind of it's almost ceremonious. Um, however, the covenant is what really saves us. And uh, Elway Nash also mentions that in his, uh, his uh, talk as well. Um, I would like to apply this in my, I'm not yet married, but I would like to soon. And um, as we apply the, the, these understandings of putting God first and loving, always making sure that our spouse uh, feels our, our love for them, we will have successful marriages and I plan to apply this in my life.